can't do it, man. It's, they're, over, they're all around us. The have you overplayed? It's everywhere. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're doing it. We're making it happen. Making it happen. Of course. Why is there uh, cookies everywhere? So this is this is a tight place. You know they're gonna squeeze a bunch of them in here. Not that one, really. Not that one. No, not that one. All right, no, game. Not all that right. One. All right, game. What's this? <laughs> huh, <a> mechanism. <laughs> Klepto piglet strikes all right. again. <laughs> all right. So don't do that yet. I'm sure that's the. Yeah, you don't want that yet. Oh. Uh, what? I know what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? Okay. So first of all. Try it, yeah, that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the cupboard behind Tigger. And, okay, so to be fair, I did say we're using a walkthrough every now and then, but like I am, we're trying to do it without it when possible, so I do think I know what to do now. But, um. I will, I will say my piece once the cookies have been found. Well, it's gotta be the cupboard behind him, too. So, so remember that dart board? Yeah, the magnet. It's gonna yep. pull the dart out. Yep, and then you're gonna pop that balloon. That is such a convoluted way to do this. You could just have Tigger freaking just bite it. Just have him bite yeah, it. This is crazy. So, all right, so all right, I gotta so go down the take slide. Take the slide. Downstairs. Go back to that maze. Oh my gosh. Yep. Are you kidding me? I, apparently not. Goodness gracious. I, I wasn't attempting to. I guess there's nothing more to do than just sing a song about Piglet. If Take you... it away. Take it away. Oh, Piglet. That was it? That's it. All right. Have you, Short have and you, sweet. Have you ever seen the movie Pootie Tang? No. Okay. First of all, first of all, I love that movie. <laughs> oh, yeah? It's one of the most ridiculous movies ever made. It was actually written and directed by Louis C.K. Really? Oh, yeah. Very super The only one that he's done, to my knowledge. I think he's going to make another movie soon, but, like... Um, and uh, it's... Have you seen the trailers for it? I don't know anything you about know, it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so it's it's about this, this dude um, who is played by this guy. I guess... I think the dude's, like, a comedian who plays him, but, like... I haven't seen him in anything else. What's I think his, his name? name is Lance Crothers, the actor's name. No idea. Anyway, this dude, those pillars, you want to hit the pillars. Um, so, he plays this dude who, like, Chris Rock plays his father. He's like a no-nonsense, like, hard-working American type, but, like, you know, the whole, like, daddy's belt's the scariest thing for the kid. But he plays this dude who grew up with, like, a, I guess a speech impediment, where he doesn't say things normal. Like... Like, if he's going to threaten somebody, he's like, I'm going to sign your pity on the runny cat. <laughs> when he's, like, happy, he's like, what a day. Like, it's, it's very weird. Like, weird, like, uh, made-up language and stuff like that. But, um... I had a point, and I lost it. There was yeah, a, what I was, was it? going for something. What were we talking about? Oh, God. wow. What were we saying? Wow. You said something over there that made me think of Pootie Tang, and now I can't think of it. Why? Ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to help you with that one, because I have no idea where you were going. What were we saying? You just I just said you have a short song, and then you sang the short song, and then... Oh, like, okay, thank you. Perfect. All right, that's exactly what it was. Okay, so in the movie, like, Pootie Tang, like, everybody loves him, and, like, everybody wants to hang out. Like, he's a really cool dude. Everybody, yeah, everybody adores him. And so, like, he's he's like a... He's this, like, action dude who, like, protects the kids from drugs and gangs in his neighborhood. But he's also, like, a recording artist, and he's also a movie star. And, you know, the it's heck just... Is you're, this movie? You're very... It's very, like... It's... it's he's kind of a, uh, a Buckaroo Banzai type character, but okay. even more ridiculous. And there's a point where he's in the recording studio recording a song, and, like, you see, you see him, like kind of bopping with the beat and listening to the music and like you hear some kind of soft vocals in the background and like and the the his his um record producer or whatever is there or the mixer and he's just like it's just it's missing something pootie it's missing something and pootie tang just kind of looks at him and looks at the the mixing board and he reaches over and he says he says something in his nonsense language Brave and he piglet, plays the track the again the um at like full volume and he reaches up and like and he, he finds the knob for like the drums and he pulls it all the way down and then he finds the knob for like 
the guitar and he pulls it all the way down. And very slowly he just turns all of the volume down. And then he, he like he goes back into the booth and gives the guy the signal to start it again. And you just see him in the booth just like making faces like he's singing really loud but nothing's coming out. For like, and he's just like he's sweating like really like he's pouring his heart into it. And like you cut back to the studio and all the executives are like, oh my god. This is amazing. Like, somebody's crying. Like, <laughs> so, And then, like, the next scene is them releasing the single on the radio. And it's just a lot of people, like, listening to silence, but, like, bobbing their heads. That's amazing. And there's a little kid, like, listening to nothing while he does his homework. And his dad bursts into the room and is like, You turn that garbage down! <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh, no. If you, oh, if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. It's so ridiculous. That's good. It's so wonderfully ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I know Louis C.K. apparently wasn't happy with it because the studio didn't get it, so they made him change a lot of it. And um, so it's not quite the same movie as... Oh, oh, oh no, oh no! Oh, golly! Oh, that was down to the wire. That was a really hard one. But, like, a lot of the jokes still work. It's funny. <laughs> it's it's pretty funny. Um, who was uh, Andy Richter has a cameo in it. David Cross is in it for oh, a little wow. bit. Yeah, oh, David, David Cross. <laughs> David Cross. So like the whole point of the movie is that he's such a righteous dude that like the rich industrialists want to like run him out of town so that they can you know sell drugs to kids and stuff, and so they get him like shacked up with this crazy woman, and um, uh, David Cross plays a uh, an imposter pootie. So, like, he, it's David Cross in blackface with, oh like, long hair and, like, doing his, like, saying somebody else's lines in that kind of, like, hi, I am David Cross kind of way. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> uh, it's a good movie. I mean, it's, it's no, it's a good movie. I like it. I legitimately like it. It did very poorly, but I thought it was funny. Well, there's your recommendation for the day. Yep. Pudite. Who did what a take? Carnival dollars. There we go. Kid picked up a ticket. He picked up a ticket for speeding in a school lane. Why am I not surprised? Oh, he's happy. So all I needed was that ticket to get in the carnival. Really? Are we in the carnival? No. Where are we? We're so oh, far. Oh, we're here. Oh, we are. Okay. Oh. So how do we get in the carnival? This way. Oh. If I'm correct, in you my probably assumptions. are. Just give me some leeway because I gotta remember how to get there. I, dude, you're pretty you're, sure it's across the bridge that we made when we uh, floated with the balloon. You are remembering more than I would. All right. Yeah. Well, way more than I would. Wait, wasn't the balloon floating in Rabbit's World? Nope. No, it was this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, that was this one. It's already. That's together. how. That's how long. Tigger's world is like Tigger's rabbit world is flew long. Through. Tigger's, was easy. Tig, 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 Tigger's world is a lot like Eeyore's. It's just long. Yeah, but I, I think I liked Eeyore's better. Yeah, I have to agree. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Let's see what this carnival looks like. Carnival of souls. No. Oh right, the carnival. Here we go. All right. Beep, beep. Hmm. Okay. That's it. Everybody can come in for a day. Everybody. Somebody put a Whoever in. buys one ticket, the whole amusement park's open for the entire day. <laughs> Do you love it if Disney World was on those rules? Yo. Oh my god. People I'd be would, there every day. People would die. It would be it would be so full It of, would be pandemonium. You wouldn't be able to move. It would literally be body against body. You'd smell farts all day. All day. You'd literally have sweat you sweaty farts <laughs> on you all day. You'd literally be able to swim in the farts. It would be flatulence island. You over could there. float away on the gas. You would literally pass out the second you get in with one hundred feet of it. If anybody lit up a cigarette, everybody would die. If anybody like was parking in the nearby regions, their their cars would start slowly Wait, getting pushed out of their spots into the into oncoming traffic, and their cars would be ruined. The ozone layer right above it would just wear out a hold, and just like apocalyptic sun rays would come down and melt the entire place. The roller coaster meddling sh scaffolding that they that the coasters go on would start to melt from the pure 
power and majesty of the flatulence that comes from the hot, sweaty, masking musk of bodies being close together and... Can you believe it? <laughs> I, I think that's a good place to stop there. That's all I got. This uh, reminds me of Labyrinth. Yeah. Door one or door two. Yeah. So what do I do here? The painting depicting summer. So you gotta find the painting. The sun okay, so... <laughs> cookie time. Yeah, it's cookie time now. So what'd you just get? You got the striped wagon. Did you get the barrel or the wagon? Just the wagon. Alright, try the barrel too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, a, my. There's a new face in here. Wait. Finally. Wait, what's this? We can get rid of. Okay, oh, so you my. need to get all the pictures to get in there. Oh my goodness. No, how about uh, there's another barrel somewhere. I just kick that one. Now, try near the the where you the um the the place you came in. Sure. <laughs> there we go. Boy, this sure is a lousy carnival. This is a horrible carnival. I I, I never said it was good. That's true. That's I said true. it was worth. I mean, this is the kind of carnival you can get into all day with one. Time. Oh yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Oh my I gosh. mean, but like I would have thought Tigger would have been a little bit more narcissistical in his brain carnival. You know? Maybe. What am I no, doing? You, you got them all. You got them all. Oh my god! So I'm just, losing my mind. Now let's, let's explore. So I need these let's, things. let's explore. How do I get those? Uh, you don't. Is that... Okay, here we go. We got the money, right? Yep. We understand how this game works now. All right, here we go. Okay. I mean, that kinda, was weird. Kind of turned into a predator for a second there. Very strange, very strange. So now what? Okay, okay, okay. So, so you need to go back to... Back to... Narnia. Mystical Island. The room, the room where you did the sweeping, where you swept away. Oh my gosh! That room. Are you kidding me? That room. That's this room. Is it this room? Coming up. Coming right up. This room. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's this room. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. <laughs> Him again! That was not enough space. Uh, well. <laughs> I'm just a simple farmer yeah. trying to make a sweep, sweep, sweeping. Sweep farmer. A sweep living? Sweeping farmer. Why is he sweeping? Because he's got to keep the farm clean. The question is methodology. Keep the farm clean. Where was that? That's in here. Is that in here? Okay. All right. Oh, so we've got to go into those rooms with the striped pillars. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's literally everywhere. To be an okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're in this room. Go into... The, this is calling the fourth room. The fourth room. That's the oh one... Oh my gosh. Goodness with the um, um, the room from which Rue jumps into. <sighs> oh, I know, I know that one. That's so the one I'm right not... after the carousel. So this one. Yeah, but it's down there. Yes. So I have to. Okay. Not be here. I'm sorry. Here we go. You gotta walk through this, wait for this loading screen, walk through the next door, wait for that loading screen, walk through the next door, wait for that loading screen, then walk through the tunnel, wait for that loading screen. Okay. Then we'll be there. Then we'll be there. That's how long it's gonna take to get there. Are we all ready? Yep. Yep. Goodness. Everybody all buttoned up, got your got your mug of cocoa. Mug of got cocoa. Got your blanket wrapped around you. Mug of cocoa. 
I'm assuming it's the dead of winter when the dinosaur comes out. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Okay. Is there anything in this love? There might be something in this area, but I hear something. Yeah. Okay. So let's. Oh, he's. uh... Is there? Oh wait, there's a thing. Okay, so you gotta. Yeah, you gotta get him. All right. And then go back to the other room. Flatulence! My goodness. That was easy. Oh, why? Why? We got new one! Ugh. Not cool, game. Not, not cool. cool. Absolutely not cool. All right, All right, on the next episode, we're going to get more things. Yep. Um, for now, we're just going to pick up whatever this is. A little yeah, not so happy. <laughs> really things. nonplussed son. It's just like, eh, <laughs> it's I love it. It is what it is. Oh, that's so great. It's a living. <laughs> All right, we'll All see right. you next time. Bye.